How are you? Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I am going to share with you today my faith journal and how I have set up my TN. But before I do, I want to share a couple of resources and just some books that I've used throughout the years. So when I do uh, faith journaling, I like to just use different books. So I don't necessarily stick to one, but these are some of the ones that I have been using throughout the years. And I do get asked, um, you know, quite often what books I do uh, use in my faith journaling, journaling. So here they are. I use The Power of a Praying Mom. I also use The Power of the Praying Wife, which is the one that I have right here. It's the one that I'm currently using uh, for my devotional. So I have these two. I also uh, have used Jesus Calling, a family devotional. And The Bible in 52 Weeks by Kimberly Moore. Live in Grace, Walk in Love. And Jesus Always. I am a huge fan of Sarah Young and her many different devotionals. So all the books that I have shared with you, I have either gotten on Amazon or I have um, gotten uh, at Barnes and Noble. So you can find them anywhere, really. They're not difficult to find. So here is my little stack of books and I just the way that I do my devotional is I just rotate them depending you know what season season of life I'm going through or what in, I'm in the mood uh, to read and pray about that's how I decide what book I'm going to be using and I do like to stick to one book at least for a whole month and then I can rotate another book so these are the books that I use for my faith journaling and then I am going to share with you my setup right now, how I have set up my TN, and I will also talk a little bit about just stationary things that I'm going to use. Okay, so first off, let's start by uh, the cover. So I did share a recent unboxing of this Moterm TN in black. I did find it on Amazon, and I have set it up very very minimal i did not overthink the setup because i don't want to get cut up on all the fluff the fluff is great i love fluff but when it comes to my faith journal i really want to focus on what's important and that is my relationship with god so i have added here a sarasa pen it is the black matte barrel with a mark on 0.38 um ink inside so this is what i'm using and then when you open my faith uh tn up i wanted i i've always loved family photos so if you are familiar with any of my setups you know that i love to include my family in my setups and when i open up my setup i wanted to be very intentional with how i you know just designed each of the covers and I wanted it to be the first picture my husband and I and the reason being is because I do believe that you know first and foremost obviously my relationship with God is uh, the first and most important relationship but then my relationship with my husband and then my kiddos because you know if our marriage is not okay then it just kind of trickles down to our family and I also went ahead and I added um, some quotes. I will share all the supplies that I used, but right now let's just do a little flip so um, you will be able to see where I got everything. So I did add a little quote and, I, and it says, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And the reason why I chose it is because marriage doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. And if you do decide to set up a faith journal and you do find some inspiration in my own setup, just know that, you know, this journey, faith journey, I do believe that it's very, very personal. So just take what you, you know, take what you want from this video, but just remember that you know, your relationship with God is very personal and it doesn't have to look 
uh, like mine. So then I decided to grab a couple of the journaling cards that I've had in my stash and that I never really know how to use them because in my ring planner, I don't add a lot of decorative things. So I decided to just go through it and choose the ones that kind of spoke to me and I could relate to Faith. So the first one that I chose was May Your Streets Be Paved With Gold. And the reason why I chose that for the first booklet, which is my verse of the day and devotional booklet, is because that I believe that if, you know, we start off with reading the Bible, our streets will be paved with gold. Again, that is kind of the reasoning and how I saw this quote, but it can mean something totally different to you. Okay, so I will show you uh, this spread here and every single spread moving forward will be the same the setup will be exactly the same and um i won't you know fill it out with stickers i'll be very minimal when it comes to stickers and the reason is because again i don't want to get caught up in the stickering because it is very easy for me to do that this is how the booklet comes it is a blank grid booklet. All of my booklets are from uh, Moterm as well on Amazon. And I have just designed uh, using pen, a pencil and some stickers, a Hobonichi, you know, layout. So on the left side, I have added Monday through Sunday. And I will do here the verse of the day. And I do use the Bible app on my phone. So every morning when I sit down, uh, to do my faith journaling, I open up the app, I read the verse of the day, and then I listen to the little devotional that they've uh, done for that day. And then I write down the verse of the day, and then I go into whichever book I am reading as a devotional. So like I mentioned before, I am doing right now The Power of the Praying Wife. So I'll go ahead and read a couple of pages. And then just, I don't, I do highlight a lot in the book, but the things that I want to keep in here are just things that really resonates, resonate with me. So I've gone ahead and just written down a couple of passages from the book, and that is how I utilize the first booklet. I've been using this for a couple of weeks, and it's working out really great for me. So this is what I'm going to be doing moving forward. And these are just a couple of examples, very simple, very minimal, and focusing on what's important. So I will go ahead and just, you know, with a pencil, divide the, the left side and then just add a couple of dots, little dots, sticker dots to mark off the passages that I decide to write this week. And this booklet, along with all of them. I think I wrote in the back. I wrote in the back of the other one, but it has 32 pages. So it's a pretty decent number of uh, pages. Okay, next we have the next booklet. And I have stuck to the same design in all of them and just switched out a couple of things, but it's pretty much the same thing. Some collage paper, a photo, and a little quote. So the next booklet is uh, my prayer and blessing booklet. And I chose a sticker that says miracles happen when you believe. Again, very appropriate for this, uh, for this booklet. And I have a picture of one of my boys. And then this is actually one of my favorite quotes by Maya Angelou. And it is an, a very old um, cloth and paper journaling card and it says ask for what you want and be prepared to get it now come on <laughs> that is the perfect quote to have in my prayer and blessing book and uh this i've just oh I, I need to show you this book so i will show you everything all the, the supplies that i used um at the end and I need, i'm gonna do a flip of my new sticker book because it is beautiful okay so what I'm going to do here is just write down my prayers and then I will also write down, you know, any blessings or uh, prayers that have been answered. So that is what I'm doing here. And then next, uh, we I did get in the 
in the Moterm uh, kit, I got this clear um, like little envelope with pockets and I'm using it. I really didn't know what to use it for, but again, I decided to shop my stash and I cut down a couple of journaling cards that I had and then I just added some of the same collage paper in the back and that's it. Those are going to be my little decos for these um for these little pockets i didn't want to be you know thinking overthinking too much the setup or switching it out so how i've set it up these are the things that are going to stay and there was no rhyme or reason with the quotes that i chose i just you know chose a couple of the ones that i liked so i chose awaiting within us is something beyond our thoughts and beliefs and again depending on how you see this everything can be related to faith persevere, persevere in prayer, persevere in your faith journey, be thankful for what you have and fearless uh, for what you want. And then in the back, it's just, you know, the two blank uh, sides of the journaling cards. And then here it's the definition of persevere. And I've just added the tissue, the collage paper. The next book is my gratitude and I have been doing a daily gratitude for a very long time. So since I've kept uh, a journal, I've always had some form of daily gratitude. For the past year, I've been doing it in a monthly layout. So either in my Hobonichi cousin or in my day free Hobonichi, I've always written down a blessing of the day. So that is what I'm going to continue doing here. And here's a photo of my other kiddo, and the quote is perfect. It says, start each day with a grateful heart. And then, um, life is beautiful, journaling card from cloth and paper, and then my daily gratitude booklet. Okay, so this is um, September. I went ahead and I added numbers from papery planning, I'm using the September uh, Sterling Ink Kit, and these stickers are from uh, Sweet Caress. And I just write down one thing that I am grateful for or a blessing, you know, something great that happened that day. And I really like to keep it in this form because I can go ahead and I may not go back and read every single journal entry or even every single memory keeping entry, but I will go back and read my monthly gratitudes because it just put things in perspective when you're having a not so good day and you're having, you know, a pity party. So I do love to keep my gratitude in this way and this is what I'm going to keep doing in my TNs. And this is uh, the one for October. I received this week the Sterling Ink October kit. And every time I receive this kit, I just have to, I just have to immediately use the stickers because they are beautiful. So this is the one for October. And then I will just continue on. And there are, there's enough for, I think, two years if not a little bit more of months in these blank inserts. So they are perfect. And then here in the back of that uh, little, you know, folder type insert, I have the stickers that I'm gonna be using. And then that's it. So these, oh, I, I got asked about these and these months are, I found them at Hobby Lobby, but I will, I will link the full name in the description box below. So these are just the stickers that I'm going to be using and I will be keeping them here. This little, this little, uh, envelope came with a zipper, a zipper, but I didn't like the white little thing because I didn't want it to dent the cover. So I've just added, you know, an Ollie clip and then very resourceful. <laughs> it would, it would keep closing. I just put a little piece of washi, you know, again, not overthinking this setup at all. So this is how I've set up my faith journal. I am working on my memory keeping one. I will definitely 
show you the setup, but again, it's gonna be very similar to how I've set this up. Okay, so now let me show you a couple of the things that I used for this setup. This is gonna be my TN Caddy. This is all that I'm gonna be using. I'm missing a couple of little things that I've ordered, and once I've got everything, I, I can give you a tour of this. But uh, yeah, again, very, very minimal and simple. This is the book that I picked up at Hobby Lobby this week, and this is what I'm gonna use as far as stickers goes when it comes to my um, devotional booklet and my, my prayer booklet. The monthly, I just have to go with Sterling Ink because they are just beautiful. And I've done Sterling, I'm, I'm subscribed to the Sterling Ink uh, subscription kit, so I get different ones every single month. Okay, so this is the first page. These are paper stickers. I love their quotes. I love the color palette. It goes perfectly with, you know, what I'm going for. So I was pleasantly surprised when I found it. I was not looking for a sticker book or anything at Hobby Lobby. I was just wandering the aisles and I went into the Happy Planner aisle and I hadn't gone in for quite some time. So it was a nice surprise. I think when I flipped through this, there were probably three pages that I wouldn't use, but everything else I will definitely use. And um, you can, you know, I can just journal on these little boxes. Again, the colors are perfect. I love it so much. And then they have a whole section of clear stickers that are coming up more of these um, quotes, like banners. I absolutely love them. Oh, I need to show you that book before I forget. And um, yeah, the, the quotes are perfect and the colors just match great. And then here are the clear ones. These are rose gold. These are arrows. I love using arrows. So I think that this was the page that I'm like, oh, yep, I need to get this book. <laughs> and then uh, I just looked at the rest and it was just so perfect. Uh, some script quotes and then you have some with rose gold and then without. I did use this big one already. I used two. Again, I'm... When I love something, I can't wait to use it. So I already I already started using this book. I think this is one of my favorite designs and the quote is also beautiful. So this is the Faith sticker book by the Happy Planner. It's called Peace Within and I found it at Hobby Lobby. And then the other sticker book that I'm using, and I've had this one for a while. This one's from Jim Holtz Ideology. I also found it at Hobby Lobby, but they do have, they do have some on Amazon. So these are just black and white uh, quotes. And there's not a lot of pages, there's only six. I have a couple of his books, and these are the ones that I'm gonna be using in my TNs. And that's it. So this is, you know, this is my setup. This is the plan for uh, my TN. I am very, very happy that after, you know, seeing all of your beautiful TNs on my feed, I gave this a shot because I really think that this system is gonna stick uh, when it comes to faith journaling and just journaling in general. I think it's just, a really fun and um, compact size to use. Yeah, I can take it everywhere with me and it's not heavy at all. Okay, you guys, so this is what I'm using for faith journaling right now and how I am using my TN. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to answer them, and I hope that you found some inspiration in this video. But again, just remember that our faith journey is very personal, 
to our life and our story and just take you know what you can from this video and i hope that you continue to have a beautiful day and thank you so much for joining me if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this including my journaling tn don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next one bye guys i'll catch you next time